And uh, I spoke to Amanda Nunes last week, and she said that she was contemplating a retirement, you know. That's not true. That's not what I heard. That's not, that's not what I heard. I, I heard that she was just saying, you know, I've achieved everything. I, I've done this. I've done that. That she's not really contemplating retirement. She's saying, what's next for me? Well, I did like a one-hour interview. And well, you would know better because there's definitely no language barrier between <laughs> you two. So yeah, I'm maybe the language barrier is between me and her. I doesn't explain like she was saying that you know she contempl she already achieved everything in her life that she doesn't see like you know challenges right now and uh, she was happy with the UFC financially it was nothing about money as well it seems like is a is a place where she is right now because of her family the thing that makes me laugh is when when when, when people say oh I'm pissed off about financially whatever I'm gonna retire do you guys not get pissed off at work I'm sure you guys get pissed off at work a lot. Are you going to fucking retire? Yeah, no. Why? Money. You, you can't retire. These guys can retire. She can retire. You know, a lot of these guys can retire. Um, you know, I, I hope she doesn't. You know, she, she's one of my favorite people ever. And uh, coming off the performance that she just put on, you know, she, she, I, I think that the beautiful thing was she, she, uh, she, she came out of the... Um, Duran May fight and everybody was like oh she looked human this that you know all the critics were all over she fought the pro you know arguably the best female striker of all time beat her and uh, she looked human in that fight then she came out and put a statement uh, on, on her last performance she looked incredible and put on an absolute clinic against one of the toughest women I've ever seen in my life and uh, after a performance like that I, I, I would hate to think that she would want to retire but you know, if that's true and that's where she's at right now, then, then she probably should. I was just curious to see, like, if you, if you talk to her and if you, you know, are planning on talking to her soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that girl. We'll, I'm sure we'll talk about it and we'll, we'll see what's up. I'm just going to give her some time. You know, she, they're having a baby and, you know, she's got a lot of cool things going on in her life. I think, I think she's at the point now, you know, she's got a lot of money and she's probably starting to enjoy herself and, you know, um, Everything changes when you, when you got a lot of money. And I just wanted to follow up on Amanda Nunes. If she were to walk away, what would you do with the women's featherweight belt? Would there still be a featherweight division? Probably not. What about for bantamweight? Yeah. There, uh, what kind of timeline? Yeah, that one will still her? be there. What, time, what kind of time? I literally just told the guys the other day to build that division. Let's get it. Let's get, start signing girls. Let's start building that division. And now my girl's talking about retirement, so... So Apparently, we got to get on the same page and figure this thing out. How long would you give Amanda to work things out before you decided to? She can do whatever she wants to do. She's the queen. She can do whatever she wants. She's got nothing. She's, she's having a bit, like I just said, she's having a baby. She's got all these great things going on in her life right now, personally. And uh, professionally, she's done anything that I've ever asked her to do. I mean, to, to go from, you know, Ronda Rousey to her, it's just, it's actually been a joy working with the women in that division, you know? I haven't always seen eye to eye with Holly Holmes people, but Holly Holm is one of the nicest human beings on planet Earth. So dealing with that, with that division has been awesome.